Hey everyone, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner and I'm back with yet another video. Now I did a tribute of course to the late great Mr. Harry Belafonte earlier um, but before then we talked about Aerosmith didn't we? And I said that we were going to continue with some rock, which is not um, a genre that I have a lot on this channel. I have a fair amount, but I really wanted to talk about another American band. Now, of course, Aerosmith started in the 70s. These guys started in the 19th. 80s. They are the pride of New Jersey. If you know your rock, you know who I'm talking about. The one, the only, the legendary Bon Jovi. Yeah, that's right. We're going to play a few of my favorites from this band, oh, I remember when they came out. Oh, the women just loved them, didn't they? And look at that hair. That is such 80s hair, isn't it? <laughs> I love big hair. One of these days, I'll have to show you a picture of, um, excuse me, my big hair from that era. Mm, I tell you, sky high, honey, sky high. Moose gelled everywhere. <laughs> oh, we loved it. And boy, did the fans love Bon Jovi, and they still do. Let me tell you, they were formed in 1983. There's an iteration that still performs today with several original members of the band still rocking it out. Kudos to you, Bon Jovi. And of course, their uh, front man, one of the, the best ones, I think, to come out of the 80s, total package for sure, John Bon Jovi, who the band is named after. Great voice, um, plays instruments, just the total package, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the women just fell all over him because he was so cute. Um, they sold a ton of records, millions and millions of records, folks, and they were successful pretty much from the beginning. I mean, they were formed in 83. They released their first two albums in 84, 85. Their first single, which of course, Runaway, it made the top 40, but in 1986, they became worldwide superstars. Why? Because that third album, that was the charm. It was called Slippery when wet and honey to say it was a hit is kind of an understatement <laughs> the album sold over 20 million copies it had two singles which went to number one and it had another one which was in the top 10 Oh, wow. And the rest is history. They toured and toured and toured extensively during the 1980s. And um, they've had a lot, a lot of success. A lot of success. Just a good, solid rock and roll band. And a lot of people say 
that they kind of bridged the gap between rock and pop. I don't I wouldn't necessarily consider them a pop band, but they have some elements of that. And this songs are just catchy as hell. I mean, if you were listening to the radio in the in the eighties and nineties, you would just be singing along with them, you know? It was that kind of deal with them. Catchy lyrics, great musicianship by the members of the band, very talented uh, musicians. I would uh, point out their uh, former guitarist, because he left the band uh, after uh, many years, the criminally underrated guitarist, Richie Sambora. That guy can shred. And if you don't think Richie Sambora can shred, listen to his first solo album that he put out. Brilliant stuff. He is really, really talented. And he gave some spice to their music back in the day. Kudos to him. But as I said, they're all pretty talented people, past and present members of this band, and still rocking in 2023. I'm going to play a few of my favorites, and I'm going to start with that slippery when wet album the one that just exploded and made them household names folks i like this song it's just it's catchy it's got a a, a singable um lyric it was the first single actually from the album and it was co-written by John Bon Jovi, Richie Sambora, and Desmond Child. It went to number one on the charts in 1986. This is Bon Jovi with a classic. And this one's called, You Give Love a Bad Name. Shut
Yeah, that's a good example of classic 80s rock. That was Bon Jovi from 1986, y'all. You give love a bad name. Hmm. I bet you most people know one person that that title covers. <laughs> In fact, I know more than one, but uh, we won't go there today. <laughs> Good stuff right there. As always, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner. If you like what you heard and saw in this video, please click the like button. Don't forget to share. I love when you share this channel. We have over 2,600 subscribers thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support and please keep the comments coming but <laughs> if your comment got deleted you probably know why <laughs> and i do read all the comments by the way good bad and, and different but the bad ones oh Where's my delete button? <laughs> you know how I roll. If it's offensive to me and um, you put in those uh, bad words and other things in there, got to go. <laughs> anyway, I will be back with some more. From the Pride of New Jersey, y'all. I think they're from Sayreville, I believe. Bon Jovi. Take care, everybody.